Hello everybody and welcome back to more Silent Hill. Last video was crazy. We found all sorts of plot twists and storyline developments and all sorts of cool stuff. So I will warn you guys that this part of the game is basically going to be again like I said in the last video a lot of story stuff, a lot of puzzles. So hopefully the scare will kind of uh, go down a little bit more and it'll just be kind of figuring the game out which is kind of nice. So, before that, any further ado, let's just dive in and go through this door. It looks like the only one we can go through. And let's try to find Lisa, because she disappeared. We need to find her. I'm being summoned. Creepy. What happened in this town? What could be making things like this? I have a feeling if I take the elevator down, I'll find it. Cheryl. Dun dun dun. I find it so strange that now Harry is interested in the town. You know, for the last like 20 videos, he's only been interested in Cheryl, but now it's all about Silent Hill, you know, and f I guess finding Cheryl along the way. Alright, so. Let's see what we got here. There's a key in the faucet, but I can't get it out no matter how much I pull. That is what he said. Okay, so like I said, lots of puzzles. We're going to have to remember that location for later. Second thing to note, this area does not give you a map, so bear with me, folks. The bird cage is locked. It's locked with a key inside, and it's flapping. Silly keys. Flapping is for birds. And if we recall, when we were in the hospital, um, there was a bird cage, but there was nothing in it. So that, I guess, is another puzzle we're going to have to figure out. We just need to kind of make our way around. What was that? Oh. Hi, Alessa. Okay, weird. It's locked. The word phalag. Plague? I don't know, is carved on the door. Okay, so we can't go in there yet. We need a key, I think, for that door. And... When did this, the seemingly hospital, become the antique shop? Uh, what? What? And in the antique shop, there was a hole in the wall. There's nothing here now. Just a wall. What the hell is going on? Oh, so confusing, but so good. I really hope you guys are going to enjoy the ending of the game here. Let's make a save, because I haven't saved in a while. I'm going to save on that slot. Yeah, and if you saw, we're in a place called Nowhere. So, Nowhere has no map, has no logical explanation, and uh, it should be kind of strange to explore. This clock in the antique shop was pointed at 3 o'clock, but now there's nothing in it, or it doesn't really tell us a time. There's a square hole in the center of the clock. The hands of the clock. It's a key. Okay. I can't get to it because of the glass cover. Oh, that makes me fit, like, just face palm. Why can't Harry just, you know, shoot the glass? I... Uh, Alright, so that's another puzzle. Whoa! Nurse! Die! Stomp on you. Whoa, is there another one? Is there another nurse? Yes, there is. Oh. Alright. Random. I forgot what I was saying. I completely forgot what I was saying. Oh yeah, that's our third puzzle. So there's three puzzles we can't solve. And we just got here. It's locked. So lots of puzzles, no answers to any of them. It's locked. The word Ophiel is carved on the door. Okay, so another one of those doors we can't go into that has a name on it. Um, let's check the big door first. It's locked. The word Haggith is carved on the door. Okay, so this must be the only door we can go through. We're running out of options. Now, this place doesn't give you a map, but fortunately, it is actually rather easy to navigate around, which I say thank God to because I'd be lost otherwise. Uh, we're somehow in the school now. 
locked and the school looks different. There's nothing in here. Hello? And anybody here? No? Okay. There's a desk. What does it say? Go home. Thief. Drop dead. Wow. That... That is not nice. This is supposed to be an elementary school. That's kind of terrible. Okay. What's in here? A screwdriver. Oh, that's, that's useful. And a pair of pliers, which again, also uh, seems pretty useful. So, um, anything else in here? I don't think there's anything else. I think that's it. All right. So now that we have those two tools, we can actually go back and solve one of the puzzles, one of the first puzzles. Because like I said, there's not really a whole lot of places for us to go. We just have to collect stuff and use process of elimination to find our way around. We need to use the pliers to get that key out of the faucet. I think if you, I think if Harry probably pulled hard enough, he could get um, the key out. So let's use the pliers. Tool to use on metals and wires. Rusted but usable. I think this will work, I hope. Yeah, there we go. Thanks, Harry. And we get the key of Ophiel. Okay, so I just gotta go back to one of those doors now that we have a key. I don't remember which door it is, but I'm sure I'll figure it out. Um, I want to say it was the middle one. No? Or maybe it was the first one. No, it was this one. I was right. No nurses? No nurses? No nurses. Okay. Well, we're able to explore in peace. It's locked. Looks like there's some sort of mechanism there. And we've got this Grim Reapers list again. I think we had this uh, earlier on in the game as well, the first time we were in the hospital, and it hasn't changed any. So we need to figure out what to do with that slate. Um, okay. Which door did I come out of? Now I'm confused. I think I came out of this big door. Let's see what's in these two doors then. Anything in here? This is a whole other hallway. I think I might actually... Oh wait, no, that was the door I came out of. Okay, never mind. I was gonna say, if that's a whole other hallway, I should leave it, but that was the door I actually came out of, so never mind. Uh, that door is locked. This lock is jammed, go figure. This door is open. This looks like another puzzle room. I'll come back to this later. Uh, lock is jammed. Luck is jammed. I actually quite enjoy the silence of this Silent Hill. I don't know about you guys, but after being scared to death by like 80% of Silent Hill, it's kind of just nice to sit back and enjoy the puzzle aspect of the game. Alright, so what's this? Names engraved on a lithograph, the Green Reapers list, which was the list we just saw a little while ago. Yes, the head count is set young and old, lined up in order of age. Then, the pathway opens, awaiting them, the frenzied uproar, the feast of death. What is with Silent Hill and poetry? They have some pretty crazy-ass poetry in this town. Alright, so let's go back to the Grim Reapers list. Something about young and old. Okay. Okay, so young to old. Um, Albert would be first. Lydia would be next. Edward, Roberta, and then Trevor. Uh, and if we look at the first letter of their names, it spells out the word alert. So, with that knowledge, if we go over to this keypad, you can actually spell out alert, I think, and I think that's what opens the door, from what I remember. Uh, let's try it. Unless there's some other cryptic thing that I, mm, I can't think of. Mmm, alert. There we go. Okay. Awesome. Let's go in here. What's what's in here? Anything? Dead people. And looks like the Star of David. I think that's what that is, that symbol. Well, in this game apparently it's the amulet of Solomon. Okay. 
we'll take that. Uh, there's nothing on these dead bodies, I don't think. Or not, you know, because last time there was like a health drink on one of them, and I can't believe Harry took it and drank it. Oh, that's disgusting. Alright, well, that's all we had to come for, so let's go. Harry? Lisa, what's the matter with you? I get it now. Why I'm still alive, even though everyone else is dead. I'm not the only one who's still walking around. I'm the same as them. I just hadn't noticed it before. Lisa. Stay by me, Harry. Please. I'm so scared. Help me. Save me from them. Please. Harry. so sad. Lisa was pretty much one of my favorite characters from this game when I first watched it, and she really reminds me of a character from Silent Hill 2. I don't want to spoil it for those of you who haven't played, but if we come back here, she's gone, and Lisa realized she's been dead the entire time, but just didn't realize it, so huge plot twist. Uh, you know, she looked like a normal person like Harry, but she was dead the entire time kind of makes you rethink Silent Hill as a whole. I also love this music, it's so tragically beautiful. If you come back here you can uh, read Lisa's diary. Ask doctor to let me quit being in charge of that patient, it's too weird. Still alive, but with wounds that won't heal. Told the doctor I quit, won't work at that hospital anymore. The room is filled with insects, even with doors and windows shut they get in despite me, to the hospital. Feeling bad, need to throw up, but nothing comes out, vomiting only bile. Blood and pus flow from the bathroom faucet. I try to stop it, but it won't turn off. Need drug. Help me. Lisa's also very, uh, you know, kind of like an enigma, because she was also addicted to the drug, and it kind of makes you wonder what happened to her when she was alive, but anyways, I'm gonna leave off on this very, very sad note, and uh, in the next episode, we will continue exploring nowhere, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.